facing three, winning these close games. Uh, well, what's the feeling like after losing one in this fashion? Yeah, you know, I mean, that was a Big Ten game right there. Uh, you know, that's like, I don't know, like the typical kind of, you know, going down to the last play type of deal. But, you know, it hurts because uh, we really just kind of beat ourselves, yeah, especially on defense. And, but, you know, what's awesome is that we get to come back uh, next week and, you know, clean up a lot of the mistakes that we saw on the field and, and uh, you know, get better. Was there a shift from first half to second half to the plays they, they were calling and executing? It looked like they were having a little bit more success in that second half. Yeah, I mean, you know, we knew they were going to try and run the ball. Uh, you know, we held them pretty well through the first half. You know, I didn't, you know, being on the interior, I don't really know what's kind of going on uh, going on outside of me and whom me and Nash were getting doubled a lot during the game. Uh, you know, I kept coming off the sideline because those guys are run blocking us up front, and I'm not even knowing it's a pass type of deal. So, you know, it's just kind of things, you know, that we can work on, you know, maybe me recognizing that's pass faster or, you know, trying to make an impact on the play when they're trying to take us out of it type of deal. Is there a, you know, as a leader, talking to, talking to the guys about penalties, sometimes those things happen. They were costly tonight, though, the ones on the defense. Yeah, you know, I mean, emotions got flared, uh, you know, we want, you know, football is a passionate game, right? So it's just, just kind of, and for me, from experience, you know, I was pretty hot-headed, you know, when I was younger. Uh, just, you know, trying to help those young guys understand to control their emotions and, you know, take it out on them during the play, not after, you know, there's no need for that. Did you feel like the communication was good, or like in between series and all that, or did, did it fill off tonight or anything? No, we were, you know, coming on the sideline, we were able to communicate with each other pretty well. Uh, you know, like I said, we just kind of beat ourselves. You know, just got to do your job. Uh, it takes all 11 guys to do their job. One guy is out of place, doesn't do their job, then, you know, things like those things happen. So, you know, that's what's great about this defense is that we're able to come, you know, we're, we all consider ourselves lions, right? And being able to, you know, be in the moment, be emotional, but not, you know, take it to heart that, you know, this guy's getting in my ass. I mean, John was getting in my getting in my ass on the field, you know, for my penalty. And, you know, we were going back and forth, but it was like an understood kind of respect type of deal. What's the uh, – it's a long season. What's the key to, you know, get back at it? I mean, just start again on Monday. And the process doesn't stop. Uh, you know, we're not going to change up our process. It works. And like I said, we just beat ourselves tonight. So it's really just, you know, key to go back, look at the film, you know, really be honest and truthful with ourselves, uh, and then just apply it back on, on the field and practice. Ty, as one of the leaders on this team, what is one of the biggest messages that you have for the younger guys after a loss like this? I mean, you learn so much more from a loss than a win, right? Uh, you know, we're all happy when we win, and you might not see the mistakes as well. But in a loss, you know, when it comes down and – we even saw it last week, right, on, on defense. And, you know, guys were getting after it this past week. But, you know, if they keep showing up or, you know, new problems show up, it's, it's that's what, like I said, that's what's great about this this team is we're able to come together, you know, help fix each other. All right, thanks. Thanks.